Hey folks, I'm here with Jeremy, the head brewer for Founders in Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is Driving Michigan. We're talking about cool stuff that's happening in the mitten, and Founders is definitely one of those things. Thanks so much for taking some time, Jeremy. My pleasure. So can you tell us a little bit about Founders, where you started, where you're headed, how things are happening right now? It's been a wild ride. Uh, the head brewer, he left and moved on to some, some other uh, adventures, and, and uh, they brought in uh, the assistant from New Holland, who was a good friend of mine, Nate Walser, and uh, he became head brewer, and I became his assistant, and they gave us, they gave us a, you know, a, a chance to make whatever we wanted to, make the beer however we wanted, just, had, just make it taste good, and we had been homebrewing for a while. And so we just took that opportunity and, and changed all the recipes, came up with some new ideas, and things started to take off from there. You know, the excitement just grew, and, and it's been a state of nonstop growth since then. And we moved over here a couple, couple of few years back, and, and it's just been trying to get more tanks, and we're never able to fill orders, which is, you know, it's a good thing. Um, the beer is always fresh. You know, when you find it on a shelf, and I know it hasn't been sitting there very long, so that makes me feel good. Um, but yeah, it's just a constant growth, and, and it's, it's, there's no end in sight to the growth at this point. In the Michigan music scene, there's a lot of sort of um, mutual admiration going on and collaboration, and I'm seeing that in the brewing community as well. Like, you've got some, you know, other Michigan beers sure. in your fridge there, and I see that when I go to these other pubs. What's that like? It's great. It's a, it's, a, it's a family. You know, everybody wants to see everybody do well. It's not like, you know, you know, oh, I, I'm at Founders, I don't want to see Shorts do well or, you know, or people at Bells don't want to see us do well. You know, it's all, it all goes together in this craft beer family because, you know, for one person, for one company to succeed, is, it's just good for everybody, you know. You're a Michigan man, been here your whole life. Whole life. What is it about Michigan that has kept you here? Well, I think family's a big part of it, you know, my whole family's here, um, and it's just, I've made ties and with the people, and it would just, it would be hard to leave, you know, I, I have good friends here, and uh, I love the weather, you know, we get a lot, we get everything, um, I love the water, all the Great Lakes, um, lots of outdoor stuff to do here, it's just, it's a really great state, I would have a hard time going somewhere else, I think the, the heart of winter gets to me sometimes, you know, but just makes you appreciate the summertime that much more. Nice. Makes us, gives us a little bit of depth. Yeah. Having to go through that painful time that's every right. year. And my dad always told me, you don't, you don't know hot until you know cold, and, and, and that's, that's true. Can you tell me about some of the different beers that you offer here? Um, what they are, what they taste like, how, how you came about the recipe and the brew process? Sure. Um, it's, it's, it's really nice to have this opportunity as, as head brewer to, um, you know, kind of make what I want to. And we have all these beers in package, you know, the ones we bottle and the ones we keg and send out to stores. But then I also have this tap room here where I have amazing opportunity to, you know, with the 16, 18 taps we have, make other beers um, just for our tap room here. And I think the people appreciate finding something new and different. I remember a few years ago, uh, I forget what publication it was, but it was a global beer, like top 100 beers in the world. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, this is the year Michigan's going to break through. We're going to have all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah. And I'm looking in the 90s, nothing, 80s, nothing, all the way up. Top 10, wow, Michigan's not on here. And then top five, Founders Kentucky Breakfast Stop. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. So it started really small. Then how did, how did the hype build up to where it's at now and where it's been for the last few years? I think that the internet uh, rating sites really helped with a lot of that. Um, about that time, Rate Beer and Beer Advocate started to get real popular with, with, with the beer nerds um, going on there. And uh, they just kind of fell in love with, with Founders Beer in general and especially the KBS. Mm -hmm. And then from that point, once it starts, once you see a beer start getting all these A plus ratings and stuff, then you know everybody wants to try it. And and from the sounds of it, you know nobody's been let down by it. And like I said, you know the hype hype is dangerous, but but it's been a, it's been all good so far. I think you guys are doing a great job so far of balancing growth with top quality and it being something useful and something that the community feels a certain sense of ownership of. But you've maintained this level of growth. I mean, what? 
how do you balance that in your in the collective mind of founders? It's difficult, you know. We want to we want to stay true to our to our roots and to the product. I think that everyone from the from the top to the bottom knows that the quality the quality of the beer as far as like, you know, back here is concerned and quality of the entertainment and, and experience on the tap room. Uh, that's the main thing, you know, and there's that can't be compromised no matter how much how much beer we have to make. Well, bravo, man. It's, it's great to connect with you and so uh, glad to be a part of the Founders family. Oh, definitely. I yeah. enjoy what you do as well, you know. Thanks. Keep in mind, I think music scene is a... Uh, music and craft beer just seem to go hand in hand around, around, this, around these parts. Absolutely. Yeah, well, thanks for making your magic happen. Definitely. <laughs>